Hey everyone, I'm your Nandini ma'am. Today, I'm again going to read another story, A Frog's Appetite. So let's get started. Tiana and Naveen now transformed into frogs, found themselves lost in the bio. They had to get back to New Orleans quickly so they could find out how to undo the soccer's evil curse. Tiana, working hard as usual, had just finished building a raft to cross the swamp. As for Naveen, he was happy to say, while she maneuvered their makeshift boat. I could do with a little help, she grumbled. I'll sing louder then, replied Naveen without moving. Suddenly, an enormous alligator emerged from the muddy waters. The frogs froze in terror, but he wasn't dangerous. This was Louis, who was mad about music. He loved the jazz pieces that Naveen was singing. I'm Naveen. Prince of Maldonia, and she is Tiana, the waitress, introduced Naveen. Then she leaned closer to Lois. Do not kiss her. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Lois, Tiana intervened, ignoring Naveen. And thank you for not eating us, but we are in a hurry. Where are you going? asked Lois. To find someone who will be able to turn us back into humans, explained Naveen. An evil stalker, sir, changed us into frogs. We'll have to ask Mama Odie, exclaimed Lois, queen of the bio. She's a real voodoo priestess, uh, but one who does good magic. Lois was frightened about going to find Mama Odie, who lived in one of the most remote and dangerous swamps. But in the end, he agreed to guide Tiana and Naveen, his new friends. This sang and entertained themselves along the way until Naveen started to get hungry, very hungry, so hungry that his frog's tongue suddenly shot out all by itself, doing into the path of a cloud of mosquitoes. Then a big firefly landed on a near dandelion, and this time, Tiana's tongue shot out without warning. Oh no, no, no! She panicked as she slapped a leg over her mouth. There is no way I'm kissing a frog and eating a bug in the same day. But Tiana couldn't fight it. Her tongue shot out in the direction of the chubby firefly at the same time as Naveen's and splosh. They missed the firefly and got their tongues tangled up. What an embarrassing situation, laughed the firefly, fluttering around them. I have always said there is nothing worse in the whole bio than a frog's, frog's appetite. Thank you all.